We're going to the fucking Encore. We're gonna go with Katie. We're gonna drive the fucking four hours upstate. And let's go have fun. We've been in the car for a couple of hours. Uber driver, turns out, is our wife. It's a stupid bit. I've did this before. What do you think? There's been a lot of traffic, but we're finally fucking here. Katie called the spa, got an appointment for tomorrow. We're gonna walk around the city and do fucking stupid things with the love of our life. Not stupid. New York's gotta get their shit together and get a nice casino like this. Yo, this is crazy. It looks like identical. Yo, this is sick. Wow. Oh my god, we got a corner table and shit. Yo, Katie's a big hotel snob. Katie, first review. Love it. No, no, out of 10. Oh, it's a 10 10 so far. Love, 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 love. Yo, love this it. is love so it. crazy nice. It's so nice. Oh, a giant ashtray. How are they gonna tell me I can't smoke in here? Look at this. No, go ahead. Say what you just said to me. Tell the people what you said in a scolding tone. This is the type of place you should be bringing me. This man tried to bring me to a Mount Airy once. They all saw. I didn't try to, I did. Are you bored? I don't know how on earth this could not be fun to free roll gamble. All right, so there's a hotel and then here is a ferry. We're taking a boat just from like Brooklyn to Manhattan and just hoping. We hope this drops us off downtown. We might've got on a, on a two hour expedition uh, to go snorkeling. That was cool and relaxing and nice taking a boat to get to the city. Now we're going to eat. What do you think of the city so far, Katie? Very nice, surprise, pleasantly surprised. Katie thought it was gonna suck. We're not gonna win everything! As a jaded New Yorker, I continue to be impressed with all these other cities I've gone to. I'm here outside Fenway Park where we um, try to bash minorities and use it as an excuse that they were coming at us. What have you, root for the socks, maybe. Here's our best file player of all time, grooming a little boy, Ted Williams. Here we are trying to fight our uh, horribly racist image every day in whatever way we can. So you think they're really as racist as they say? Yeah, I think so, definitely. Back from being out on town with Katie and we're gonna go play some 510. So let's go. We're gonna buy it for 1K, regardless of what the table's sitting with. I only wanna sit with 100 bigs. I don't wanna be deeper. I don't know deeper. I don't know shower either, but. Anyway, it's like 9.30 p.m. We may be up for a late sesh. We'll see. The only complaint I have is why don't they have video poker by the poker? I'm gonna have to play fire with the dick bag. So the sports book is so fucking sick. It looks like how, like, no matter where you are, if you're lost, you can fucking find it. It looks like how every poker room should be, like a giant globe of, like, poker. I gotta go peek that out. I'm gonna play this stupid shit while we wait. Well, that was quick. We're in the bonus right off the rip. We met Dan. We met him at the slots. Waiting still. We got the bootleg chocolate cow here. You'd say we're having a real conversation? This is a real conversation. <laughs> real, real dog shit, yo. We got called for 2 2 PLO. We're gonna play that shit a little bit first while we wait for the 5 10 seat or whatever. So we got stopped from filming during PLO in the middle of a hand. It's not allowed here. Again, like most casinos, it's not up to the poker room people. It's above their head. You know, it's like the gaming commission of fucking Massachusetts or whatever. We ended up breaking even in PLO. We bought it for 700 cash out for about 700. Then we sit down at 5 10, no limit hold up. Very first hand, we post the blinds like a dipshit. 10 bucks. We're in like early position with low jack. Maybe we have jack nine of heart. We check. If somebody else raises to 80, we end up going five ways to a flop with $80 each in the middle. So $400 in the middle going to the flop, and it comes queen 5-3 with two hearts. Dude bets 125 to the 400. We call. The other three guys fold. With 650 in the middle comes the nine of diamonds. So it's a two-tone board. Queen, nine, five, three, two hearts, two diamonds. We have jack, nine of hearts. So now we have a pair to go with our flush draw. He just like pretty quickly jams 450-ish into the 650 pot. And with our pair in flush draw, we figured we should call. The river's dealt. It's the king of hearts. We assume we're good, but he has ace-seven of hearts. 
Bucks. Fuck, who's a big pod to start? We got it in 77% favorite, but we didn't win and we couldn't, we didn't have a chance to talk about running it twice. But we battled back since then. I think we're in for 1,200 right now. We're sitting with about 800, so we're down about four, despite losing 650 in that pot. You know, it's like 1230, we'll play till two, two thirty. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. And we'll play some video poker, some stupid shit. Tyler Coolhead was uh, early position raised to 30. Fulls us in the small blind off like our 600 stack. We looked down at Ace of Hearts, Jack of Diamonds. We just flat 30 in the small blind. The big blind with only 200 in the stack calls. Flop comes King, Queen, Jack with two hearts. Again, we have the Ace of Hearts. So bottom pair, straight draw, back for flush draw. Check, check, guy bets 50, we call, other dude folds, turn comes a four, whatever, check, check, and the river brings in a third heart. We check, he bets 100, and then we jam. Maybe we were shorter, we jam for about 400. Maybe we only had like 500 to start the hand, and he folded. You win. And that was fun to be able to use bloppers and bull bullshit. Anyway, now we're back. In for 12, out for like 550. It don't go too good. Oh my God, this fucking line. Fuck this, that's a punt this off. I'll be right back. Holy shit, you guys. You saw we just had 550. We just fucking took the last stab at roulette and look at what the fuck we turned it into. Zero. All right, now we're playing this shit. 200 in, $10 to spend. You win what you see. Come on, give me anything, anything. Cock. Ooh, come on, anything, anything. Ooh, $200, let's go. Eat anything, anything. Oh. Okay. Yo, come on. Yo, come on. Yo, come on. Come on. Don't fuck with me. Come on. Bitch. All right, we'll play some video poker. Fuck the pay tables. I don't care. I'm trying to gamble. Wrecked. We lost about 1,200 this vlog. Fuck. Everyone, what do you want me to do? The vlog's not over, we're still here tomorrow. We're about to leave, but we got $100 left for a last stab. This sick fucking sports book. We're gonna do some stupid shit before we go. Yo, this is so sick. This is a highly unique last stab compared to other times where uh, we won't collect until October if we win, Katie. How much, do you have any cash on you? No. You're a Queens girl, you should get in on this. The Mets? Yeah. Waste your money, I have $3. I'll take it. All right, here's the last stab. My last stab was 100 and your $3, 103, on the Mets win the World Series. I'll be next October. You might not even be with me, you mean? No, I just, I mean, I can't pencil in Boston for October 2023. What kind of international life do you think you live? <laughs> I mean, Take it's a $1,600 payday. Should we go put more on them to ensure that we come here? Your aunt's calling me. Uh. Garbage trucks in a garage. Mm. He's a great grandpa. Gonna make the booty bounce on the dance floor. Now, he doesn't deserve any applause. He called with King Jack.